All right, everyone, it is Vermont Issues 153. John Rogers, a senator in Vermont, has introduced a bill to ban cell phone use by anyone under 21 uh, years of age. Now, when I first saw this, of course, this is absurdism. Let me, let me clear one thing up really quickly. This bill is not meant to pass. It's not even meant to be debated on. The person who has proposed it, if you read the articles, has even said so. This was just meant to be thought-provoking and start a debate on the topic sort of in the public square by getting attention to it. Now, John Rogers, I take it from what he's saying in the article, is a fanatic leftist who believes that cell phones are being used to recruit for, like, fascists and, and extremists. Um, there is, in, you know, cell phone use by the young and by older people, trust me. A lot of baby boomers can't put their fucking cell phone down for two seconds. Uh, they can't even take a shit without their cell phone twittering or whatever. Um, it is indicated in car crashes, and, you know, it can, it can cause other problems. When you're constantly craned over like this, how is it that people have, like, spinal problems from using their cell phone all day, their heads down all the time? I mean, you might as well become a monk if you want to be in that position. You know, oh, very, very holy. Yeah, you know, this is a suggestion for some of the tradcons on YouTube. Just go to a monastery or something, you know. You'll, I think you'll end up being happier anyway. At least you'll be closer to your Lord. And you can grow, and you'd be like a, a, a geneticist or something. Like, what the fuck is his name there? That one Catholic monk that <laughs> developed, developed the bean plant uh, theory with regards to inheritance, inheritance factors. Gregor Mendel, I believe. Catholic, very religious, believed in God, <laughs> also believed in the rudiments of genetics, which made him a heretic. Uh, let's think about it this way. I think that this dude's full of shit. But not because he's proposed the bill. Because he's claiming that one of the bases for which you would do that is fanaticism. Cell phones are not causing fanaticism. Can this dude take it from perhaps the most well-known Vermonter on social media, which I may very well be? <laughs> I'm just putting that out there. I mean, they're, they're like you look at like Bernie Sanders or something, they obviously have bigger fan bases. But they're not primarily, primarily on a social media figure or a, a vlogger or something. They're politicians who simply happen to be from Vermont. By the way, Sanders born in New York, so it doesn't technically count. Oh, wait, I was born technically in New Hampshire. <laughs> Fuck, I guess that doesn't count either. I think, wasn't there a president? Wasn't it Taft, I think, uh, initially was from Vermont, if I remember correctly. But then he lived elsewhere or something. I think he was born in Vermont, but he didn't stay there. John Deere was born in Rutland. He moved out of Vermont because of a poor work climate. I, you know, that's still happening today. The next John Deere will probably move out of the state of Vermont, too. Uh, anyway... Uh, fanaticism and extremism online is an overblown issue. By orders of magnitude, it's being hyped up by groups of people that simply want to censor people like me because we're competing with them. What's happened is that corporate media outlets, groups that have million and billion dollar budgets, are watching their audiences disappear. The TV audience is disappearing. Certain on-demand networks now aren't doing as well. Um, their, their content is not being paid attention to as much and it's not being engaged with as much as the audiences garnered by people like me. What they've done, therefore, is claim that there's a systemic problem with extremism online. And what they do is they focus on, if you're like me, I make three or four videos every single day. I have for years. If you cherry pick my videos the right way, you can construe me as being far left, far right, a fanatical libertarian, an anarchist, a fascist. You can do literally anything you want. Because you've got my views on basically every possible subject within the realm of news and current events. You can cherry pick through what I've said and cast me off as be like, like I'm sure. Rational Wiki thinks I'm far right. If somebody built a conservapedia article about me from the perspective that they didn't like me, they would focus on, on issues like gay marriage. I'm pro-gay marriage. Or, or religion, where I'm you know, generally irreligious. They would focus on these things. They'd say, well, Styx is a rabid leftist, a far leftist, because he's, he's a fanatical baby killer who supports Planned Parenthood, and he thinks that homosexuals should marry in an affront to God's laws, and he questions Christianity and doesn't like Jesus, and they would focus on something like that if they didn't like me. Or, conversely, they'd focus on the same shit that Rational Wiki already does if they did like me and say, well, Styx is a, a, a bread and butter, meat and potatoes, good, staunch, conservative man. He knows how to grow food and he likes guns and, and thinks that people should have their faith. And they'd focus on these things. 
So as long as you're looking through the lens that's presented by some corporation in the legacy media, fucking of course you're going to see people as fanatics online. You're seeing that they're making a Hitler joke. Well, you know, in its context, they're literally just trying to piss people off. But if you take it out of its context, if you get that 4chan post filtered through Salon.com or Huffington Post, yes, I guess it's uh, uh, news of the day, systemic Nazi problem online. So that's what I have a problem with. But to be clear, he's not suggesting this bill seriously. He knows that it's not even going to go before a vote. Nobody's going to try to ban cell phones in the hands of people under 21 because it'd be a stupid idea that would not conform to the First Amendment. By the way, for the same reason Vermont's attempt to raise the age to purchase firearms to 21 will fall through as soon as it's seriously challenged in court. It's just that it takes years to seriously challenge things in court and million dollar budgets to do so. And with the ACLU no longer uh, interested in promoting the rights of anyone who keeps and bears arms, that, uh, that leaves you one group short of enough money in order to do that. You have to rely on cucks at the NRA or things like that. So it takes a little bit longer. And you could do it in a grassroots uh, fashion, except that if you're promoting the Second Amendment, you'll get kicked off any of the crowdfunding platforms other than Subscribestar or New Project. Here's what I would say. I think that this dude is goofy. Uh, the bill is meant to spark debate over something that's only half true is a problem. The, the truth is there is a problem with people using their cell phone and driving. Can I posit something else, though? And I say this as a Luddite who hates smartphones. Can we do something about texting while walking? Because people really, it's fucked up. Like, they'll fucking go over the side of a cliff because they're texting and not paying attention to where they're going. In these days, they use those wireless earbuds. They'll, they'll sit there talking to themselves, and as long as their hair is hiding their ears, you think that they're schizophrenic or drunk or something. Uh, you can't even have a conversation with anybody anymore if you need to. Ask directions? <laughs> Who? Who am I supposed to ask? I'm inconveniencing them by interrupting their conversation with their friend 500 miles away. Talking about what they fucking ate. Oh, I'm going to update my Instagram. Hey, look, I'm eating a burrito. Uh, this is what social media is devolving into. I prefer the more infor, uh, informational side of it, the truly entertaining side. And by the way, if I'm on the go, I'm not texting. I'm not talking to anyone who's not in proximity because I want to watch where I'm going. I'm already phobic enough about accidentally bowling somebody over. I'm already phobic enough about, you know, walking off a train platform because I'm in Amsterdam, the most hard-to-navigate city in the world when it comes to trams and trains and metro and bus and, and bikers and <laughs> everything else. Uh, you'd get killed. How can people even, like, text and walk in this city? I don't even know. It must be like, you know how when people are blind, eventually they can sort of, you know, just with a cane, they can literally, like, walk around and they can get from point A to point B. And they don't even need to see where they're going. And it's like, you know, almost like echolocation. I guess that human beings are inventing echolocation abilities. Like evolution in action. People who have it can text and walk and they don't get killed. Those that don't have that ability will get killed by bikes or buses or whatever. And so we're evolving. Jesus, cell phones are mutating us and not because of the cell phone radiation. We should be very afraid. This video has gone completely off the rails. But, you know, one-liners can be fun. No, this bill is not meant to pass. So, I mean, I had, initially when I saw it, I'm like, oh, well, it's a joke bill. It's, you know, you read the article about it. It's clearly, it's just meant to start thought-provoking debate over extremism in cell phones, I guess, or some stupid progressive bullshit like that. But then people are just reading the title, taking it seriously enough. So I've got like 20 people in my DMs on Twitter asking me to talk about it and more in the comments. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't want to have to make a Vermont Issues video about this because it's almost a waste of a topic. It's just an excuse for me to sit here for nine minutes now and rant. It's really all it is. It's absurdism. It's like Jello Biafra when he was running for office saying, oh, we're going to let the homeless squad in abandoned factories. Not, ex not exactly a bad proposal, by the way. That's about all. Peace out.